Jesus, we welcome you here. We thank you, Lord, for your presence. We love you, Lord, because of what you've done in our lives. We're here just to open our hearts up to you, Father. Uh, stand and sing together Jesus be the center O God, you summon the day to dawn. You teach the morning to waken the earth. For you, the valleys will sing for joy. The trees of the field will clap their hands. To you, the monarchs of the earth shall bow. 
the poor and the persecuted shall shout for joy. Your love and justice shall last forever. Precious the morning, sure is the sunrise. Be Lord, because you are eternal and uh, we can rely on you, Lord. You never give up on us, Lord, and we thank you, Father, we can rely on you in everything in our lives. How great is your love, never gives up. On me, 
stronger than shame carries me back to you Jesus my Redeemer you have made a way all oh, glory to God The day to dawn, you teach the morning to waken the earth. Great, great is, is your name, great is your love. For you, for you the valleys will sing for joy. 
The trees of the field will clap their hands. Great is your name. Great is your love. To you the monarchs of the earth shall bow. The poor and the persecuted shall shout for joy. Great is your name. Great is your love. Your love and justice shall last forever. Fresh as the morning, sure as the sunrise. Great is your name. Thank you. Little helper. Okay. Well, welcome. These are the words of Jesus. They are strong and true, so believe them. I have come that you may have life in all its fullness. So believe them. I have come that you may have life in all its fullness. What does that mean? What does it mean to have life in all its fullness? Um, full of life, a full life, Jesus' full life, to be fully alive, fully alive. I remember that. Remember the last time we were here together and we were looking at Ephesians 4. And we were looking that Jesus calls us to be fully alive. And we saw in verse 16 the possibility of that, what, what, what that could mean for us. He makes the whole body 
fit together perfectly. That's us. He makes the whole body fit together perfectly. As each part does its special work, it helps the other parts to grow so that the whole body is healthy and growing and full of love. Healthy and growing and full of love. He makes the whole body fit perfectly, but we do our own special part. And then we will be fully alive, as Jesus calls us. So Kidzone felt a call. Kidzone children and parents and leaders, we, we felt a call to explore this a bit further. What it might mean to move as a body and have a more Jesus full life. And you're all being so still and quiet. I'm really very impressed. But now that's all going to change. Okay, let me explain. You may notice things look a little different today. So we have four stations around the room. One in this corner called Spiritual Styles with the Wally family. One up in this corner called Attitude to Gratitude. And we've got Rona and Sabina and Louise on there. And one in this corner over here, um, what's God like? And we have McPherson's and June over there. And the fourth station is right up there in the back corner where we've got the Yar family. And it's called, oh golly, what is it called? Come and get your stick. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? <laughs> so, I will split you into four groups and we will move around the church, stopping at each station for seven minutes. When you hear that, you need to move to the right, to the next station. And the Kids Zone team and the stewards, the welcome team will keep you right. Now, I think we need to move about. I've got some children who want to move about. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, help yourself whatever you feel and then there's obviously that's the time, isn't it? Yeah. That's the stuff that it's all based on. So it depends what your style is, you might be more creative, you might be the more fun yeah. in the
Let's have a look at what you have done. 
Let's have a look. So let's all sit down. Thank you so much. I'd like to invite, Jip, before we all talk about this amazing man here, this amazing person, not man, person here, I'd like to invite Jim to come and read his poem on the body of Christ. Lord, make me a foot. Let me trample down worries, kick away deceitfulness, clear the path ahead of me as I go for others to follow. Let me support the whole body. Let it balance itself upon me. Let it be strong and upright upon a firm foundation and not as if of clay as I plant myself upon the rock. Lord, make me a leg so I can run the race fleetly and surely, rising as if on wings of eagles, and may I not run in vain. Lord, make me an arm strong for battle to fight the good fight against all who oppose your will, to bear your shield against the fiery arrows of the wicked. Make me a hand, Lord, to clasp your sword of truth, a lung to imbibe your life-giving spirit, a heart stout and strong to love you and your ways and bear your life-giving power throughout the whole body a liver to purify, an appendix even to fulfill that secret task which no other part may know. Make me an ear, Lord, that I may hear your word, a mouth that I may proclaim your truth, a tongue that I may taste how sweet you are, an eye to gaze upon your beauty. But above all, Lord, Wherever you place me in your universal body, whatever task you assign me in your eternal scheme, great or small, open or hidden, noble or ignoble, give me the mind of Christ. Thank you, Jim. That was quite something, wasn't it? What is this? This is quite something. Who put one of these bones in this great? You did. Which bit did you put in? You'll come and show me. Which bit? Which bit did you do? What's it called? That's a big leg. Anyone know the leg bone, what it's called? Come on. Femur, hooray. <laughs> Learned people here. What? What about you, Archie? Which bit did you do? And what bit is that? It's the rib cage. It's a rib. Anyone else? What did you do, Luke? Which bit did you do? Do you know what bit he's pointing to? What's it? It's that great big long one all the way down the back. Joining all the ribs. What's that called? Spine. Spine. We're going to come back to that. What's inside the spine? What's inside? Yeah, Archie. There. There are lots of blood. I need someone, <laughs> learned out here to help me. All the way down the spine. Look. Nerves, there's a, lots and lots and lots of nerves in this body. Yeah, where are they going? Where are they going? David, you know, don't you? Where are they going? 
all those nerves, or were you just yawning? <laughs> hmm? The brain, the brain. They're, what were you going to say? Look, nerves, yeah. They are coming from the brain all the way down the spine. And then where are they going? To the, oh yeah, look. Oh no. <laughs> To there, yes, yes. Just as Paul said, all joined together perfectly. Now, I know you've just sat down, really sorry about this, but there's something I'd like you to do, but it's okay, it's with your arm, everybody, okay? So we're going to pretend to bend down and pick up a ball Right? We're going to pretend to bend down. Let's do it. We're going to pick up a ball. And we've got the ball in our hand. And we come up again. And now we're going to what? Throw it. <laughs> Sorry. Throw the ball. Okay. Now. In... I wonder how many pieces of the body we needed to do that one action. Bend, what do we need when we bend down? What part of the body? Quick, just shout out. Knee. Muscles, what part? Knee, leg, foot, spine, fingers, toes, elbow, shoulders, wrist, fingers, everything well well done look i like the way that eugene peterson he uses a lovely word in the message for the body working together it's not i haven't got it but he uses the word rhythmically we you we work together rhythmically yeah Paul in Corinthians talks just as Jim did in the poem about all the separate parts, the foot, the eye, the hand, but we need to work together rhythmically. Oh, but wait a minute. How do they know what to do? Uh-oh. I say to you, pick up a ball and throw it. How does your body, all those parts, Yes, Lorraine, you can, you can, brain, good, well done. This bit, you are the body of Christ. Each one of you is a part of it. And who is the head? We've got a huge head here, it's amazing. This brain. Jesus, yeah, Jesus Christ, God is the head. And that's the most important thing to know. And when we are all doing things together, and we need to be so aligned, so rhythmically working, that's not easy. We need the head. Now, what about these stations? Tell me something. Tell me something that you really liked, apart from the sweetie at the, uh, I'm gonna talk about this in a bit. Spiritual stars, did anyone get a blue sweet? Yes, movement, you know, of course, that's my quality street. Did anyone get a purple sweet? Okay, good. Something, somebody tell me something they got from here that was really new. Michelle. Letting it go. What spiritual style were you using there? Movement, yeah. Anybody else? 
What about attitude to gratitude? Who liked that station? You liked it, Archie? What did you get? Was there something that struck you about being thankful as often as possible? Was there something that struck you? Oh, I hope so. Right, Margaret. <laughs> Yes, yeah, and that's what to remember. And I think Rona will encourage us, let's do this, all of us, as a body. Let's keep a gratitude diary. Two things every day that we're thankful for. And one thing in difficult times, difficult circumstances. Thank you, Margaret, that we're thankful for. Find goodness in it. Let's do this all together. He makes the whole body fit together perfectly. So maybe God is telling us something today. The head is giving us something. That, let's do this. And it will change. It will change us. It will, well, let's see in a month. You come back and tell me, yeah? What about, what's God like? What's God like? Did anyone like that? I saw lots of people drawing. Hmm? Yes? What did you like, Angus? Uh, I like that God is a fortress. I drew a treehouse that was both strong and fun. Yes, very good. Fortress. Anybody else? What was God like for you? Archie. The wind. The wind. Yeah. When you listen to the wind, you will hear God speak to you. Archie, remember that. Anybody else? What's God like for you? You all were there. Yes. Uh, music. Music. So Good. You have to listen. Changes the whole atmosphere. So you're going to do more of that then now that you know God's like that for you. One more. Oh well. Oh, shepherd. Thank you. And Louise. Love. Yeah, I think um, Pippa liked that, didn't she? Yeah. So we all got some different things. We all got some different things today. Things that can help us go deeper. Go deeper in our relationship. I think, I believe, God is calling us to go deeper together. I believe he wants us to have more of his presence all together as a body, more of his presence. Let's have, can I go back to my slides quickly? <laughs> Lovely pictures though. And the next one, but I think we're gonna skip it because we've been doing this a long time now. Oh, well, okay. This is from the message, the same verse. Come on, all you purple, all you purples, purple quality streets, right? Pay attention. <laughs> this is how the message says the same verse. We take our lead from Christ, who is the source of everything we do. He keeps us in step with each other. His breath and his blood flow through us, nourishing us so that we will grow up healthy in God, robust in love. We take our lead from the head, but he keeps us in step with each other. Okay, one picture. Let's have a look at this picture. I wonder if, can you, I wonder if one or two of the stewards would just put the lights off Sorry, I would like, it would be lovely if we could really see this closely, yeah? Let's have a long look at this picture. Who hasn't seen this picture before? I think most of Kids on, we haven't seen this picture, yeah. The rest of the body, the church, have seen this picture, so let's talk about this picture. This is God's picture 
for our church. This is God's picture for our body, for all of us. What's he saying? What's he saying? Any of the children, what jumps into your mind? Because this is the first time you see this. Look, what's happening? Yeah, Hannah. God's garden. God's garden. Mm, it seems to be growing bigger. Very yeah, good. Anyone else? I wonder what God is showing us here. Last time we, anybody? Oh, yes. Rachel. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. That's lovely. If we're not rooted in him, all joined to the head, our full potential, fully alive, calling us to fullness. This, this, this garden here looks more full of life than the garden where we were or are, I don't know. I believe he's inviting us to more of his presence. I hear this uh, saying a lot in, you know, in my work, the life of the church. We need that everyone is integrated into the life of the church. But I want to just put a question out there to take away what is the life of the church is it an hour and a half here on a sunday is it if you're on a rota is it if you're free and retired to be on one of our outreaches in the day where is the life of our church where is the life of the church i think that's a question I'd like us to think about the fences coming away are telling us I believe I think I wonder I don't know we need to think about this are they telling us let's get deeper with Jesus we can be do the journal the attitude of gratitude we can develop our spiritual styles we can imagine what God is like but enough from me. Have you all got a sweet? I hope you have. When we finish our worship, I would like, before you have your tea or coffee, let's go and say hello to somebody of a different age to you that you've not said hello to and say, hey, this is my quality street and that means that I'm something that you learned today. Let's do that at the end. Talk to someone that you haven't talked to before. Say hello to one of the children and say, my sweet's blue. What does that mean? Right? Okay. So. Shall we have some worship? And then I have a blessing to say at the very end, Angus. That's all right. Yeah. So David, we won't use the slides at the end if we're doing the blessing. Yeah. Okay. Let's stand together. I saw some people waving flags earlier. Please wave some more flags. Yes. 
himself in light and darkness tries to hide trembles at his voice trembles at his voice how great is our God sing with me how great is our God
Jesus loves it that we are his body. Just going to say a blessing over you before we all go and enjoy each other. The power and peace of the presence protect you. The grace and the goodness of the saints inspire you. The good and gracious God go with you and keep you always. Amen. I think Rona's got some notices, so pay attention. Hi, everybody. Um, the first notice is, oh yeah, I can take that off. Thank you. Is a reminder that next Sunday, the 20th, there is going to be a newcomer's lunch so this is for everybody who's relatively new to the church. And if you've not been to one before, then that's you. Um, so it's immediately after the service and it's through in Mac's home, which is the old part of the church, um, where there'll be a lovely lunch. I'd be really grateful if you intend to come just to indicate that on a sign-up sheet, which is on the table in the foyer, um, just to give us an, an idea of numbers and any dietary restrictions. Um, the second announcement is that this Wednesday, the 16th of March, at half past seven in the evening, there's an Alpha course starting in the church here. So that's half past seven this Wednesday, the 16th. Um, so please do come or please invite friends or neighbours or colleagues. And could you register your interest with our pastor, John Crabe, or his wife, Karina Crabe? So there's little flyers with the red alpha question mark, again, out on the table in the foyer to take away um, with their phone numbers on. Thank you. And my third announcement is the overseas team and the deacons have been praying and discussing the situation in the Ukraine. And we realize that people may wish to donate some money. Now, the Baptist Missionary Society, BMS, have set up um, a place that you can do this online, but if you would prefer to give money, there is a basket, a wee kind of wooden basket, just at the back of the church at the door. It's beside the collection box, so it's not the collection box, but it's just to the right of that. There's a wee basket, and any donations um, you'd like to give, you could pop in there. Thank you very much. Hi there, I'd just like to um, remind all our young people or people who've got young people at home that we're gonna have another bowling night um, next Saturday, the 19th, at seven o'clock at the Pro Bowl in Kirkintilly. So if anybody is interested and would like to give their name to me today, I'll come around and maybe ask some people just so we can start to get an idea of numbers. If you know somebody in, in the, so the 26th, not next week, so you've got ages to re <laughs> tell people about it. Apologies, thank you. <laughs> so in two weeks, I'll, I'll be reminding you next week again on the 19th, but um, okay, thank you for that. So in two weeks time, um, yeah. So if you know somebody who might be interested, if you would like to come and you've got a friend you want to invite, it'd be fantastic to have you along. Thank you. Okay, the announcements. No. <laughs> so much. Thank you, Mary. Let's say thank you to Mary and the whole team anyway for this morning. Yeah. Thank you. 
and to the Kids Own team. Yeah, the whole, the, everyone, the whole realm, and our good selves as well for, for being here. Thank you. Just one more notice as well from me. Tonight at 7 p.m., it's Jubilee, Jubilee Prayers, and we're going to listen to the interview with um, Alan Donaldson. That's the, um, the, the former Scottish director of the Baptist Union, and he's now General Secretary of the European Baptist Federation. We're going to listen to him, and we're going to pray for, um, for Ukraine, but we're also going to pray through the week. Um, every, there is an activity every day of the week in BBC. So we want to pray through that. We're thinking particularly um, tomorrow um, of bumps and bundles. They're very, very short at this time. But um, each of the groups will pray through and um, hope to see you all at 7 o'clock for Jubilee Prayers. Um, just one more thing. <laughs> That's tonight, the Jubilee Prayers. Thinking about tomorrow morning... Alex mentioned bumps and bundles. We're, they are running tomorrow morning, but they are very short of helpers for tomorrow. So even if you could come for a short time, you uh, would be very welcome if you could come and help. Please speak to Brona after the service if you can be of any assistance there. So thank you for listening for, to so many announcements. You are free to enjoy each other and say hello and share your sweeties. And thank you. It, you're a wonderful, wonderful um, body today. We did well. Thank you.